many, many symbols of racism, religious bigotry of the worst kind still lives on. The discrimination that is in the minds and hearts of people, it's time to end this. It's painful to say that even now, in twenty-first century, so many incidents of discrimination based on race, religion and caste. And it's also nice to see that today there is a movement across the world inspired by a terrible incident in Minneapolis. Well, these have been happening regularly. Above all, though largely the laws enacted in almost every democratic country has kind of stabilized into an equitable process. Still there are nations where legally there is discrimination, but above all, the discrimination that is in the minds and hearts of people. For this to go, there needs to be a moment not on the street, but in every home, every workplace and on the street, not necessarily in the form of a protest, but it is needed. And it's really heartening to see, particularly in UK, many symbols of racism of the past, of slave trade are being pulled down. But still in India, many, many symbols of racism, religious bigotry of the worst kind still lives on. There are entire towns named after the worst kind of religious tyrants. Aurangzeb, who in his lifetime is estimated to kill, massacre nearly four million people just on the basis of religion. Imposing taxes on people who belong to a religion which is not theirs. Still towns are named after them, streets are named after them, statues of British imperialism, which essentially represented a racist attitude towards the Indian people, still lives on. Well, <laughs> the great British hero, Mr. Churchill himself, a racist of the worst sort, engineered the Bengal famine, which took the lives of 3.7 million people and when confronted has the temerity to say that anyway Indians will breed like rabbits and make it up. Well, such people have been honored and celebrated in the world. It's time we set different standards for the coming generations. All discrimination, prejudice, in the name of color, caste and creed, it's time to end this. Our African-American friends in the United States are asking me, Sadhguru, we need your support. Well, <laughs> the color of my skin itself is a support and uh, I've spoken strongly about this. But if you think I must take the knee, well, your clenched fist, if it is not directed against anybody, if it is only against prejudice, it is not against people of certain descent, but against prejudice, 
against racism, against injustice perpetrated in the name of caste, creed and race, well, I will raise my fist also for you.